Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Vanessa if you're new. Today's video is going to be a Christmas gift guide for 2023. I'm so excited for this. I have been like really racking my brain, especially like for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I've been doing some hardcore shopping and thinking about like good gifts for people. So it's all fresh on my brain here. I was hoping to get this video up before Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but you know, better late than never. I have it all on my notes here, so I'm going to be looking down a lot. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. I have my little hot chocolate here. I'm feeling very festive and Christmassy. We got a candle going in the back. We're feeling all the Christmas vibes. So I don't have this super organized. The way I split it up is gifts for her, which I'm going to talk about first, and then gifts for him. But it's not organized other than that. That's really as far as I got. And I have a ton of stuff to talk about, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and I'll be popping pictures up on the screen. I'll let everything link down below and then I also have a gift guide for gifts for her and gifts for him on my Amazon storefront if you want to go check that out. I do get commission from it if you shop my links, just so you're aware. But let's just jump right in. So the first thing is anything from Skims. I feel like Skims, their quality is just so good. They have the cutest stuff. If you want to play it safe, I would get a t-shirt bra or anything from the Fits Everybody line, like a t-shirt or something like that. They also have really cute lounge sets and pajama sets. It can be a little pricey, but their quality is so good. And they also have men's stuff now. So if you know a guy who you think would be into Skims stuff, Maybe hook them up with like some underwear or something. The next thing is a White Fox lounge set. These are so comfy, so cute. They're all so expensive. And I think a lot of them are sold out right now from Black Friday and everything. But they restock pretty regularly. Um, but they have the cutest lounge sets. I would buy true to size for these because they do have an oversized fit, which most people want, but you don't want to be like swimming in it. So stay true to size on that. Also a hoodie. You just can't go wrong with a good hoodie. Anything from Lululemon, the Essentials hoodies. The bar has really good sweatshirts, but they're always out of stock. You have to like sign up to get notified when they come back in stock. Also, Mad Happy has really cute hoodies. If you are with a girl that is a nurse or does something where she wears scrubs, get her fig scrubs or a figs jacket. You can even get them like personalized. You can get like their name and then like RN or whatever after their name. So those are super nice, very cute. For shoes, on clouds are really good. I like the Cloud Novas. They're supposed to be really comfortable. The New Balance 550s are really cute. You can't go wrong with those. Veja, I don't know if I'm saying that right. If it's Veja or Veja, but those sneakers are super cute. I'll have them linked. Nike 270s, I have some of those and love them. Nike Dunks, those are awesome. And they come in like a million different colors. Or Nike blazers if they're like a workout girl and need a flat shoe for lifting and stuff. Or they're just cute to wear too. As far as like cozy stuff goes, I really love Barefoot Dreams robes, blankets, and socks. They're pricey, but they are such good quality. They're like buttery soft. They're so good. Also, any kind of really good water bottle. I know the Stanley Cups are huge right now. There's probably a ton of girls that would love to have those. Even if they already have them, you can never have too many. So you can get them one in a different color or a different size. For makeup, the Patrick Tall Major Dimensions Palette. I think it's the two that I like. But, you know, any of them are really good and they're really good quality. Also, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Palette. It's really similar to the Patrick Tall one, but it's also really good. Anything from Necessaire, if she's like a skincare girl and really into like self-care type of stuff, Necessaire has amazing products, especially for the body. So they have like a retinol hand cream and then like a nighttime hand cream. They have a retinol for your body, which I really want to try out. I think that is like such a genius idea. They have a uh, body serum, body washes, they have a deodorant. Like I could just go on and on and they have really, really good ingredients. Awesome, awesome brand. Another good brand that I like that's in that same realm of stuff is Lux Unfiltered. They sell their stuff on Amazon too, but they have a lot of good like body skincare, face skincare, a lot of good tanning products, which is awesome. If you are, my dogs are wrestling back there. I swear, I don't think I'll ever film a video where you can't hear my dogs in the background. If you're buying for a girl who's super into hair, or she gets her hair colored, if she's a blonde especially, get her K18. 
the molecular repair hair mask I think it's called you can also buy them in like gift sets where they have like the hair mask with the hair oil or shampoo or whatever anything from K18 is awesome but specifically the hair mask is absolutely amazing it repairs your hair bonds everybody I've ever talked to that's tried it has loved it kind of pricey but it's so good also, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. These are like my all-time favorite lip products. They make your lips so glossy, and they also have a lot of good gift sets. If you are buying for a girl who's super into perfumes and fragrances, I feel like it's, unless you know her really well and you've heard her say, like, I want this perfume or I love this perfume, I feel like it's really risky to, like, go out and buy a random perfume for a girl because there's just so many different you know, preferences and options for perfumes. So I think a really good idea is to get a Scentbird subscription for her because they send you, I think it's monthly, they send you like samples or like travel sizes of all these different perfumes to try out. So I think that would be a really cool gift for somebody. Also the Sephora perfume samplers, you can buy this like big box of, I think it's like samples or travel sizes or whatever, of a ton of their like best selling perfumes. And then in the box, there's a voucher to turn in and get a free full size perfume of one of the ones in the box. So that's a good option where she could get a free full size perfume of her choosing along with the uh, Scentbird subscription. If she's really into like makeup and skincare, you could do like a boxy charm or an ipsy bag subscription. My now fiance did that for me. Like I think it was like our first Christmas together and he got me a boxy charm subscription and I loved it. I got so many good makeup products in it and I thought that was such a sweet, like thoughtful gift. And it's the gift that keeps on giving because I would like open up a new box every month or however often they sent it and it was just so good. So I think that's a really good idea. Also, for makeup, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. I feel like everybody loves those. You can't go wrong. For skincare, we have Topicals Faded Under Eye Brightening Masks. These are really good, and they actually have good ingredients and should work really well. I think that would just make a cute little, like, stocking stuffer. Topicals also has an exfoliating body serum that I think a lot of people would like. For hair care or body care, I love the brand Way. Their products smell so good, and they work really good, too. So Way is amazing. Also Purology Hair Care. They have a lot of really good stuff. Along with Aura Bay. Aura Bay is like a really bougie hair care line. They have a lot of really expensive stuff. But it works so good and they smell amazing. So that would be a good like splurge for hair care. Sol de Janeiro Perfume or Body Products. They have like the Boom Boom Cream that everyone loves. They also have a ton of different body sprays. I've never smelled one from Sol de Janeiro that I didn't like. They're also amazing. But again, scents are really specific to different people. So they have gift sets that you can buy where you can like try more than one, I'm pretty sure. So that might be a safer option if you want to go that route. Also an Apple Watch, if she doesn't already have one, or Apple Watch bands, like the really cute ones that kind of look like jewelry. I think those are really pretty. You can also get her some sunglasses. If you want to go bougie, you could do Dior, Prada, Celine. Ray-Ban is a little bit less expensive. Desi is kind of in the middle. It's like less expensive than those brands, but more expensive than like Amazon. And she has a lot of really, really gorgeous sunglasses or Amazon also has a lot of really good cheap options too. Also an iPad or a MacBook if she's a tech girl or she's in college and she needs one, those would be awesome gifts. A camera, I feel like a lot of people would like to get a camera as a gift. It's an expensive gift, but if you're going to go that route, I have the Canon EOS 90D and I love it. I know a lot of people also have the Canon G7X Mark II and swear by that one, or the Mark IV I think they have out now. I don't really know the difference. I'm not really up on all that kind of stuff, but they're supposed to be like the best of the best for cameras. Um, an iPhone tripod, they make ones with or without a light. I think that would be good if you're somebody who is like takes a lot of vacations and wants to take your own pictures or if you need it for Instagram or something like that. That would be a really good gift. Also, the infamous selfie lights that you can clip on your phone and it like 
lights the whole room up. Those are amazing and are such a game changer for your pictures. Lululemon would be a really good store to get gifts from. I feel like a lot of girls love and swear by Lululemon. One of their belt bags is really good. They have a bunch of different colors or I really like the like boucle furry ones. Those are super cute. A lot of people are really into the dual pouch wristlets. It's like a keychain, but it has like wallets attached or something. Those are really cool. They also have keychains that are cute. I like their water bottles or anything from the Elan range, like their tanks, their jackets, their leggings. Those are all really good. If she's a coffee drinker, you could get her a really nice coffee maker, like an espresso, which are really pretty. I have a Ninja and I love it. It has like a frother on it and you can make cappuccino espressos you can do like a million different things with it it's so nice or the Breville is like a really really expensive coffee machine that's supposed to be amazing and do all kinds of crazy stuff also a Nutribullet would be a good gift if she's a smoothie girl one of the hatch alarm clocks are awesome I have one of these where it like the sun like rises with you in the morning. So if you wanna be up at seven, you could get it to start at 6.30 and it would slowly get brighter. And then it also has like relaxing sounds to wake you up instead of like a really loud, annoying alarm clock to start your day. So those are awesome. The aloe sweatshirts are really nice or really anything from aloe. Alpha Elite clothes are awesome if she's a gym girl. I like the Amplify line for the leggings. You could also get her a collagen powder. I feel like what girl doesn't need collagen? I like the Vital Proteins one. Hero patches are another good stocking stuffer. They're, they have ones for like discoloration, they have ones for pimples, and they work really, really well. So those would be a really good thing to buy somebody. You can never go wrong with candles. I feel like every Christmas, when I feel like I need to like add something to a gift or spice it up a little bit, I always throw in a candle. Um, if you want to go cheaper, you could do Bath & Body Works, Target, Yankee, all of those. Or if you want to go more expensive, Jo Malone has really beautiful candles that are super strong. And also the Volcano candles that they have at like Anthropology, Altered State, a bunch of different boutiques like that. Another really awesome gift would be an air fryer. Who doesn't love an air fryer? Also a silk pillowcase. I feel like all the girls are jumping to silk pillowcases now because it's better for your hair and your skin. And it doesn't harbor as much bacteria. And um, even if she already has a silk pillowcase, she could probably use more. Along with that same thing is the Kitsch, I think it's pronounced, heatless curling things that you put on your head and wrap your hair around it. They look really goofy when you're going to bed, but they really do work and give you beautiful curls the next day. So those would be a good things to buy. Also any kind of barware like a cocktail shaker kit or like a really pretty cocktail glass set or wine glass set. CB2 is like my favorite place to get these kind of things because they have the most like unique beautiful barware but there's also a lot of really good options on Amazon if you want to go a little bit cheaper. Another good gift would be luggage. I like the Bays brand or there's a couple brands on Amazon that I really like that I'll have linked. Another really good gift if you're buying from somebody who is cold natured like myself would be a towel warmer. So you put them outside your shower you put your towels in there and then every time you get out of the shower you have a nice warm towel to wrap up in. I just think that is like the most luxurious thing in the world. Like, oh my god. And then also in that same realm is a heated blanket. I mean, you can't go wrong with a heated blanket. Another cool thing to get would be a photo printer. One of those where you can like print pictures straight from your phone. I feel like a lot of girls would love to get one of those. Also a film camera would be a cool gift or a Polaroid camera if they don't have one. If you're buying for somebody who is a dog mom and is obsessed with her dogs like I am, the Furbo cameras, you can get them on Amazon. They're so cool. They're like these little cameras. I think they're like robots where you can like wheel them around the room and you can look at your dogs when you're not home on an app from your phone. And then you can also um, talk to them through that. App, and then you could hear what they're saying too <laughs> like they're gonna speak back to you and then you can also throw treats to them which I think is just so cool if you're ever like out and about and you're like hmm, I wonder what my dogs are up to or you want to make sure that they're not ripping your house apart I think that is such a cool gift another good one is the robot vacuums like the shark robot vacuums that just vacuum your house for you those are awesome I love mine Another good one is an Alexa to play music, and she does a lot of other things too. Those are really cool. Another really good gift, especially if you're buying for somebody who like literally has everything and you can't think of something to get them, 
or if they're not really into like materialistic things is to buy somebody a vacation if you're buying for like your wife or your mom or whoever book like an airbnb or a hotel in a really cool place or like one of those like glamping things that you can do now i think that would be cool like book an experience i think anybody would absolutely love to have that and it's such a unique gift i'm proud of myself for that one <laughs> Um, also diamonds. What girl doesn't love diamonds? You could get her a tennis bracelet, a tennis necklace. You could get her some diamond earrings, a diamond ring. And then I know a lot of jewelry stores will let you like come back and like exchange your diamond for a bigger one. So like every, you know, few years or so you could take her back and have her upgrade to a bigger diamond. So I think that would be a good idea. Also a gift card to get a massage, a facial, anything like a medical spa with like Botox, filler, microneedling, something like that. I think would be an awesome gift and a lot of girls would absolutely love to get that. Also the Dyson Airwrap or the Shark, I think it's called the Flex Styler. Um, those are both really awesome. Hair tools, an LED face mask if she's a skincare gal. These are really pricey, but they are so good. They're just, and make sure you get a mask and not one that she has to sit there and hold because that's just annoying. Get a mask that goes over her face and then like wraps around her head. I'll link some, but that way she doesn't have to hold it and she could still like do stuff if she wants to while she's wearing it. Those are really good for acne, anti-aging, discoloration. All that kind of stuff. A lot of vanity would be a really good gift if you're with a girl who likes hair and makeup stuff. Another really good gift idea that I thought of was to set up professional pictures for you guys to do. Like either couple pictures or family pictures or something like that. Reach out to a really good professional photographer and book it for it Because I feel like all girls always want more like family pictures or couple pictures or whatever that are professional. But it's always really hard to like find the time to do it and to book and it's like stressful and expensive. So I feel like that would be a really awesome gift and it's just super sweet and thoughtful. Another awesome one, if you're with a girl who likes a good spray tan or does self tanning, is to get her like a serious Norvell spray tanning machine. My future mother-in-law got me this for Christmas, I think last year. And it was literally such an amazing gift. I stayed tan all last summer. It was so awesome. I didn't have to pay for a Suntan City spray tan membership. And it's just amazing. It's like an actual professional like spray tan machine. And you can buy where it's like a full kit that comes with the machine, like a tent to stand in, the whole thing. So I'll link it down below. And then also an electric lighter for like candles and whatnot. These are just really pretty and sleek and easy to use. Okay, now let's talk gifts for him. So I have a few overlaps with the gifts for girls. So I think the Veja or Veja, however you pronounce that, sneakers would also be a good gift for a guy. Also the New Balance 550s, Adidas NMDs. Nike blazers, the Noble lifting sneakers if he's a gym goer. If he likes necklaces and stuff, a chain would be a good gift. They have a lot of really good ones on Amazon that I found. A good shaving kit. I'll have a few linked that have really good reviews. Also the Jack Black beard stuff. If he has a beard and he likes to take care of it, they also make hair stuff, I'm pretty sure, for guys. If he's really into his car or just car stuff in general, a good gift is a car wash membership at like a really good car wash nearby your house or like a, a cleaning kit for him to do it himself if he's a guy that doesn't like to go through a car wash. Also a good watch. I really like the fossil ones. Also an Apple watch if he's like a tech guy or like into fitness or whatever. MacBook or an iPad if you think he would use it and he doesn't already have one. I feel like a JBL speaker you can't go wrong with. Those are amazing, really good quality. A Yeti cooler if he likes to go to the lake a lot or do outdoor festivities. Yeti makes a really good cooler. Um, an ember mug if he's a coffee drinker. This is like a really fancy mug that keeps your coffee warm for a long period of time. You can set what temperature you want and then it'll keep it at that temperature. I think those are so cool. A Stanley cup or like a hydro flask, just like a really cool um, coffee or water cup for on the go. Calvin Klein underwear are always a good option or Ralph Lauren boxers or underwear. Ugg slippers if he doesn't have a good like house slipper. 
and you think he would like some. If he's a gym goer, Alphalete gym clothes are awesome. They have really nice shorts and shirts and all that kind of stuff. If you're looking for a brand of just like basic shirts that fit really well and are super good quality, the Cuts ones and the Built, I don't know if it's Built or B-Y-L-T, but those brands are supposed to be really good for basic shirts. If he has like an office job or something like that, I think a good gift would be a portfolio that like has um, like a place for a calculator, a notepad, a place for papers, pens, that kind of thing. Also a good luggage set, again from Bays or there's really good ones on Amazon. A watch holder, if he's a watch guy and has a lot of them, um, like to put on your nightstand and organize your watches. Or also to go on your nightstand, a charging stand for like the Apple Watch, iPhone, like AirPods, everything that you can put on your nightstand and charge it all at once. I thought it'd be a really good gift. A Chelsea boot, I feel like you can't go wrong with. They would fit a lot of guys' styles and would be a really wearable boot. I like the ones from Steve Madden. Steve Madden also has really nice loafers if he's a guy that likes or needs some loafers. Also a good cologne. I feel like cologne is easier to buy for guys than it is to buy perfume for girls because I don't know why, but I just feel like it is. <laughs> so the colognes I like are YSL Myself. It's a newer one that's really good. Gucci Guilty, which is what my fiance wears. I'm obsessed with it. Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel. There's a ton of different ones. If the guy you're buying for you think is a little bit pickier with scents or he's just like really into a lot of different fragrances and wants to try a bunch of new stuff, I think a Scentbird subscription or a cologne sampler from Sephora where he can trade in the voucher and get a full one would be a good gift for a guy like that. They have perfume and cologne ones, so you could go either way. If he is a whiskey guy, you could get some really cool whiskey glasses. There's a ton of different options. I'll link some down below, of course. Or allocated whiskey. I didn't know what this was until like a few months back because now my dad is like super into whiskey. Literally, all you need to do is go to your nearest liquor stores, go up to the counter, and ask him if they have any allocated whiskey or bourbon and then just buy whatever they recommend. <laughs> because allocated whiskey are just whiskeys that are like really high end and hard to find because they're in such high demand. So if you get a guy that drinks whiskey, a really good allocated whiskey, he'll love you forever. Also a whiskey smoking kit. They make these kits where you can like smoke your whiskey and it gives it like a good smoke flavor. I think that would be a cool gift. If he is into cooking or grilling, a Blackstone would be a good gift or a smoker slash grill. I bought my fiance the PK smoker, which my dad recommended, and it's amazing. You could also go the Big Green Egg route or the Komodo Joe, which is like the same thing, but different. I don't really know how, I just know they're different. Also, a really good like meat thermometer. They make Bluetooth ones where you can like pull up an app on your phone and see what temperature your meat is at and track it and everything through that. Or we have one, I think the brand is Thermoworks and it's just like a really good, super accurate thermometer. It's awesome for chicken, especially. I never cook chicken without that thermometer. You could also get them tickets to their favorite artist concert or like a sports game if they're into NFL or college football, baseball, basketball. I thought that one's kind of hard because not all sports are in season right now, but I don't know, I thought it was a good idea. So <laughs> you could also get them a shirt or a jersey for their favorite sports team. You could also get them a coffee maker if they're a coffee guy. You could also get them a gift card to a really nice like fancy barber that could get them straight do their beard, their hair, the whole thing. You could get them a Nike sweat set. You could get them a really nice like leather belt. I have a few brands on here like Gucci, Tacova, Ralph Lauren, Hermes, Burberry, whatever their kind of style is. You could get them a gift card for a massage. I feel like all guys are always so like stiff and in pain all the time. So I think a massage would be a good gift for a guy. A really nice gym bag. Some good brands are Nike, Alphalete, Lululemon. I don't know how to say this brand, Dange Dover, Dagny Dover, I don't know what the brand is, but I'll have it linked. Also Gymshark or that same brand Noble has a lot of really good gym stuff. A good shaker bottle, Brewmate is a good one, or I'll have some on Amazon linked. Those adjustable dumbbells, but it's like dumbbells where you can adjust the weight on them. 
I don't really know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but I think those would be an awesome gift. Also supplements, depending on, you know, what he's into or what he needs. BCAAs are good for muscle recovery. You could get him a protein powder. You could get him ashwagandha, which is good for increasing testosterone levels and lowering your cortisol levels. Lion's mane is good if he's somebody who struggles with like ADD, ADHD, anxiety, anything like that. Or creatine, which is good for building your muscles. Another good gift would be a North Face jacket, like a puffer jacket or whatever. You could also get him some dress socks if he wears those. Bombas is a really good brand, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Amazon has a lot of really good options. Also anything from All Saints, they have a lot of really good clothes and accessories and I think that's just a really cool brand. They're super pricey but they have a lot of really nice guy clothes. Also a Carhartt jacket, those are super nice. And if he's a guy that dresses up a lot or like works in an office, the Twillery shirts are really good. I ordered one from my dad a while back. I think you put in like your exact measurements and they send you a shirt that's like pretty much custom fit. I could be wrong on that, but they're supposed to be like wrinkle resistant, super good quality. They're really awesome shirts. Okay, and that was the last thing. So that's all I have for you guys. I think this video is gonna be like a million years long, but I still have so many things that I didn't even mention that will be on my Amazon gift guide on my storefront. So if you need more options or you just want to browse through that, that'll be linked down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if I gave you any good ideas or if you have any good ideas for some gifts for people because I'm still doing some Christmas shopping. So I would love and appreciate any ideas that you have. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.